Hey guys, this is Negli from Negli FPS. I just wanted to show you guys a new trailer that was released yesterday. Just shows some of the various strike packages, weapons, and stuff. And I think I spotted gold camo in there, so to all the people that like that. Um, also, I think there was a couple burst fire weapons in there that got one burst kill, so that made me very excited. I think it might have been an AK though, which saddens me, but either way, it looks like weapons are going to be just as powerful as they were in Modern Warfare 2. Unlike Black Ops, where you could shoot someone like 18 times and they would just not die. So without further ado, enjoy the video, and uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. began development on Modern Warfare 3, one of the first things we did was we took a look back at Modern Warfare 2. We realized we had made the game for one type of player, the player with the high kill count, low death. And that was really the only type of player that was getting rewarded. So what we wanted to do was offer the same kind of reward system for every type of player. So the three different strike packages that we have are Assault, Support, and Specialist. And they all work in a very different manner and are geared towards a very different type of player. What we previously called the kill streak system is now it's a point streak system. So kills are not the only way to move your point streaks forward. Every strike package takes advantage of this, and it basically means things like capturing flags, capturing flag. taking domination points, even assists if you use a certain perk count towards moving your point streaks forward. If you're the big body count type of guy from Modern Warfare 2, you're gonna love the Assault Strike Pack. Predator missiles, sentry gun, assault drones. If you're a team-focused individual, the Support Strike Package is for you. So the Support Package works significantly different than the Assault Package. The main difference that you'll notice right away is that your streaks don't reset on death. So I can get a kill. Capture the flag. Capture an HQ. It all moves it up. When I die, it doesn't reset. Now, the kill streaks that I unlock are definitely of a different order than they are in the Assault Strike package. They're more support oriented. Things like UAV Jammer, UAV Recon standing by. Advanced UAV, Recon Drone. Sentry guns are great, right? Especially in team modes like Capture the Flag. You throw a sentry turret up near a flag point, it can just lay waste. So the third strike package we have is called the Specialist Package. Now this one is really interesting. So you start your character with three perks. When you get your first two kills, you'll unlock a fourth perk. Two more kills, you unlock a fifth perk. You unlock new perks every two kills. So at eight kills, you have every perk in the game. When we were designing this, it felt like a fighting game where you have that little bar at the bottom corner that sort of fills up as you get hits and you use it and become more powerful. The thing you'll find when you start unlocking these perks is that you become super powered as a soldier and not relying on an AI helicopter or whatever to get kills. Your character basically becomes the super weapon. There's more balance than it's ever been before, more focus on you as an individual player and your style of individual play. So it's something for everyone based off of your gameplay style, really tailored to how you like to play multiplayer. Pre-order now for Xbox 360.